Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Libby. I feel like I haven't started a vlog in so long. We are headed out to the UK today. We're going to Manchester for the Gymshark Lift Manchester event. Got up super early today. I needed to finish packing. I have a car getting me at like 10 and it's only eight right now, but I got up at seven because we have a long, long, long travel day today. I was on my deathbed yesterday. I think that I got food poisoning or something because from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep, I barely moved from my bed and JJ is already gone. He's in Florida. And Bronx is at his babysitters because we were prepared for us both to leave. I can't tell you how lonely I am. I'm just ready to like interact with people. But oh my gosh, I think I took like 19 naps yesterday. One of which was on my floor next to my bed because I just had no energy. It was bad. It was not a good time. I don't know if it was food poisoning or what it was, but I was so stressed. And apparently, I guess I busted some blood vessels here. So under my eye from violently throwing up without knowing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, did I do something wrong with my skincare and then it took a second and you know we figured well that's just from throwing up so good now i what an annoying time though and the timing was great but also was the worst like thankfully i got up today and i was like let's go again but all i had was ritz crackers yesterday because i couldn't hold anything down welcome to the manchester vlog it's gonna be a long one and i'm excited for it i'll be gone for five days prepare to be sick of me i'm new here Look at my little... Oh, oh, for some tea. <laughs> for some tea, we've got my little vital. But I think that this is the wrong hey, one. <gasps> She's branded. That's so cute. Do we get to take the whole mirror? Yeah, please. <laughs> that would be perfect. Look at the what little that? slice. No, sweatshirt that says athlete. <gasps> Let me grab it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it. No freaking way. Baked way by Steph. I did oh. ask for these socks. I did ask for this bag. Libby. Athlete edition. Libby. <gasps> Shut up. I had it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Libby. Wait, I'm so excited. No way. Wait, I get a new pair? It'll be Shut my non-travel. Yeah, just the box. It's just for display. It's to take mine home in. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Wait, I'm this, obsessed. This athlete collection. I got to my hotel room and I'm screaming. I have to give you a little rundown and a little haul of everything that I walked into before I mess it up. But I'm, I'm like flabbergasted. First of all, I've been traveling for like 20 hours. Second of all, we have so many cool things. Okay, let me give you a haul. Check out the Gymshark mirror. There's a little gym sharky up there. Room tour. My neighbor is wit, so that's fun, but I'm wearing the rest day. This is my travel fit. Let's start with the bathroom. First of all, look at her. She's gorgeous. Beautiful. It feels like a home in here. It doesn't even feel like a hotel. Look at these little mirrors and look at the tile in the bathtub. A little bath mat. It's beautiful. I don't even want to use it. I feel like it's all for display. My little Gymshark closet that they set up for me. So I have the animal, which we are going to be wearing. And then I did request a couple of items that are not sold in the US, but they're sold here in the UK. And they are the bodysuits from Rest Day, which you guys probably saw. And I made a commotion about it online because I said, why aren't these in the US? Look at the bed. First of all, look at this. How cute is this little rest day eye mask? I literally used the eye mask on the airplane the entire time that we were here and I was snoozing away. So I'm pumped to have this. Look at this customized athlete little crew. It's actually, it's a hoodie. Oh my gosh. We have a t-shirt as well. Insane luggage, don't mind her. And these are not actually sold, but Gymshark did make these little slippers and they're so plushy and so soft. And a whole Gymshark bag, which I don't even know what's in here. We have these joggers as well, athlete edition. I scrum, I scream, I scramped. I have my AirPods literally attached to my backpack over here. This is how I travel with them. I know it's not great, but I have a brand new pair of AirPods Max hats. You guys know I love these. Just have the itinerary here and your girl is up here at the top of this one. So this is the little schedule for both days. Just some little snackies and whatnot. A window. Oh my gosh, like it's the Florida ceiling. I'll show you my view. It's a little rainy outside because it's just how the UK and Manchester is. You can kind of hear it, I think. Down there, there's a little train. Oh, it's been a long journey getting here. My gosh, I feel like we have been traveling for like 20 hours, I think it is now. I'm just very happy to be here. We got here safely. I had my flight from Houston to Atlanta, Atlanta to Manchester. These are all the goodies that were here when I arrived. I wanted to give you guys a little tour before I film anything for TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, but 
I'm loving it. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. I have moved all of my goodies to right here on the couch because nothing feels better than, you know, plopping into this bed and taking a little nap. I'm gonna take a cat nap because I don't think I've slept more than five hours in the last 24. My nap did exceed the time limit that I had set for myself. I think I slept through it like with no problem. I woke up probably like an hour and a half ago, but I've just been in my bed. We are so hungry, so I think we're gonna get dressed. It's dire at this point, you guys. We're so hungry. One thing about me, you guys, um, but my things back where it looks like nobody has used it and I even fold like the clothes that I just wore, I don't know. It's really weird of me, but I, I can't do the clutter. Like all my stuff being on the couch right now, <gasps> it's not even cluttered, but it, it gives me, it stresses me out. This is my fit for going out. I just have this Sisters and Seekers zip up and some flared leggings and my New Balances. They did deliver me a brand new water because I drink that canned water so quickly. I have Hippies Chickpea Puff Snacks. I don't think that I've tried these, but I think that Sprout sells them. And when I worked at Sprouts, I'm pretty sure they have them. Also have a Cherry Plum Remedy Kombucha. Bucha. I'm not a huge booch lover. I can get down with it, but then we also got this body glow by Armand Beasley. <gasps> cute. It's so cute. Ooh, yes. Oh, it's just like a body oil. Wait, I love her. I packed Cheerios from home. This was my snack because I had food poisoning and you have like no appetite afterwards. I just went ahead and grabbed like little bready things that I could eat because I was too scared to put something actually in my body. slash two. I don't know what you would call it. Just hopped out of the shower and I'm gonna do my skincare. We have a long day ahead. Day one was interesting because we got here at 7 a.m. UK time, 1 p.m. back home, and then we had to still travel all the way here to Manchester. It was a long day yesterday, especially with having to try to stay awake so we didn't fall asleep, which is not what happened. We ended up just taking a nap. We got a little bit of food from a place nearby, which was yummy. We had like a burrito. It was low-key a little bit of a Chipotle situation where you get to build your own. That scared me. Today we have the little Gymshark sports day and then I think we have time to work out afterward, which will be fun. I don't know if the time difference is set in for me, but when it does, I feel like it'll be a little intense. We'll probably have breakfast at like 8.30ish. But we got to meet the team yesterday. Last night we went to Ross Edgley's little documentary screening. It was so good. We got to see him swim in the Loch Ness. He swam for 53 hours. I can't even stay awake in a car. Oh my gosh, the man went into liver failure. He had cellulitis. He showed us pictures of his feet. He bit off like part of his tongue because it was so raw. Yeah, it was insane, but what a man, what a man. I really like this Soonjung one because it feels very hydrating. Oh my gosh. Water from my shower is just pouring out. Okay. All right, chill out. Okay, I guess it's not gonna chill out. What is that? Sunscreen, even if it's gloomy. Okay, that's enough now. Now I need to do my hair. I think I should just put my hair up. All right, Libby just went with a braid, but having a little bit of a mental breakdown, you guys. I can't lie. Pick my fit. I have so many duplicates because I brought my own package that got delivered to me So I think I'm just gonna wear black leggings I think black leggings and they're giving us a shirt when we get there. All right, the most typical fit I'm gonna wear the athlete hoodie, which is huge I think I have this in a medium on top of this and we're gonna hope for the best. I want to put lotion on first though actually I can't believe I got here earlier than right now yesterday and like had an entire day I think I'm ready.
least one of us. Yeah. because my team actually won. Well, we won the last challenge, which was double the points. When that it was, was five for my team and three for Brits, they said, oh yeah, the next one is worth double points. And we pulled which it off. Which only makes sense that they're trying to get us both to five. Nathan just decided to join. I'm joining, I'm crashing. Guys, you guys are first Nando's? I think so. You got a Perry Tamer butterfly chicken. Sure did. And you did. some broccoli, which is my favorite food. That's what I got too. Broccoli is my favorite I didn't food. get silverware, I'm dumb. Oh, man. Grab you one. Here, do you want a knife? I'll use a knife. I'll grab you, I'll grab you a fork. Oh. What a gentleman. Oh. Thanks, Nathaniel. Halted? Any sound of movement to your cameras are gone. Yeah. Don't say that, it's stressful. First oh, bite of chicken. Reviewed. So good. Well, give me a good London accent. Give me your London accent. You watch okay, Top Boy? Have you watched Top Boy? You watch Top Boy? I know you said Top Boy. Have you Top Boy? Have you watched Top, top Boy? boy. No, no, I was That's like probably the only UK show that like actually represents how like someone like me would speak. Everyone else thinks I speak like people from like Harry Where Potter. Where are you from? I'm from South London. You have okay. heard of Croydon. You've heard of Croydon. Well, there's so many different accents. Because even like Manchester is so different. Have you heard of Wimbledon? Like, where been to London? Or no? I feel like you're such a traveler. It's crazy. I know. I've been all over Europe, but I have never been to the UK. Wow. Here's the tea. Here's the update. We had a long day at this Gymshark sports day. It was insane. I will say it was overstimulated, but it was very fun to be able to hang out with everybody. But we are about to go tour the venue, which you guys will have already seen. And then after that, we have dinner. So I'm just wearing the little athlete set, which this launched on the Gymshark site. I think it's limited edition. Gymshark in the back instead of athlete. And then some other words where our name and everything is. Oh my gosh. I am really thankful to Peyton because I think she was vlogging the entire time for me because I could not pick up my camera and we did a bunch of little like tasks there was some that were fun like we built marshmallow towers and then we also did like actual athletic events where we did like sled pulls and pushes and we would nominate somebody from our team we were who's at my door delivery name and occupation marissa sponsorship manager <laughs> Okay, I had a little delivery, but it was a good day. Oh my gosh, it was just a lot. But I'm glad the rest of the day, this was like the hardest day, I think, because of the jet lag. So should be recouping tomorrow. And tomorrow we have day one of the event and we have our little gym girl chit chat and our meet and greet. So I'm very excited to be able to meet you guys. Very excited for that. I'm just trying to soak it all in. My first event as an athlete, I don't know what to expect. So I'm going in hoping that two people come meet me. And otherwise, I'll be good. So we're gonna head down in a second.
guys, I'm back in my room and oh my gosh, today has been a long day, but it's been so fun. It's just so fun to be able to meet all the Gymshark athletes and actually interact and hang out and spend time together. But I have to go to bed because tomorrow's day one of Lyft Manchester and I'm so pumped. We got to tour the venue today, you guys saw, and it's incredible. They're working right now until the morning to get everything prepared. So I'm really excited. We have our gym girl chit chat and then also the meet and greets, which will be fantastic. And one thing that I really love about Gymshark events is that when it comes to the end of the night after dinner and everything kind of just never want to stop talking to everybody so we find a way to like go to our rooms and just continue talking and bonding and just hearing each other's life and experiences and everything like that i feel like i've already lost part of my voice which isn't great but it'll be okay yeah i'm just so thankful to be here i'm just so happy i'm trying to soak it all in and just being in manchester is insane on its own so i have you guys to thank for that which you guys know. I don't like to get emotional, so I'm not going to. None of this would be possible without you guys. I feel so special and so lucky. I get to be here in my athlete outfit, and I'm just so happy to experience this with these people, to have this little time and space with you guys too. So thank you for being here, for showing up, whether it's on YouTube or any of my other platforms, just seeing my life and supporting me in any way that may be. So I'm gonna go to sleep. I love you so much. We're getting ready in the morning, and it's gonna be a long, long day. Good morning. It's time to get ready. I still have my dinner time. I'll look for me, guys. Okay, look at this baby toothpaste. I literally needed another toothpaste because I ran out. So tiny. It'll work. It'll work, but it's so tiny. I have to braid my hair. Oh, I need my contacts, actually. Fresh contacts. I have such a tiny head that this covers everything. Right there. Okay, I'm Hagrid. I brought my Dyson Supersonic and because the voltage is too high here in the UK, it won't even turn on. So I just used the hotel blow dryer. I went to sleep with my hair wet and I needed it to be dry so I could braid it. It's, it's looking scary, but this is what I needed. And it's so soft. I think it's the Pattern Beauty stuff though. Pretty sure it's what it is. Let's get started because it's gonna take a little bit. This is a straight part. I don't know. I wear one side down. I feel like that took everything and more out of me, but I feel best when I have my hair in my French braids, okay? When I shoot in them, when I take pictures in them. And I think I kind of killed that. Hopefully I can duplicate that on this side. We will see. Side number two, I just pray that my part is okay in the back. Got an Octo Buddy for my phone. I'm watching YouTube instead of having my iPad because I don't have room up here because I have so much stuff. I can't do a tutorial. I've had so many people ask me if I can do a tutorial on braiding my hair. And I don't think I would be good at that because I go by feel. Like I need to sometimes close my eyes to be able to know what I'm doing. It's crazy because I'm so visual. I do Dutch braids now. So I'm practicing them because I like the braid on the outside of my head rather than the inside. Skincare time. I'm pretty proud of the braids. I think that they turned out well. As well as they can because I don't have time to redo them. Skin's glowing. Next, makeup, which is very minimal for me, but I'm gonna wear some. That was too close. I did not like that. She's glowing. Hey, I feel like that's enough for my face. I'm done looking at myself. I think that this is as good as it's gonna get. I think that I'm gonna start in the vital scene. So I'm gonna put it on and see what I think. Ugh. I don't know, even though this color is bright as mother hell, like, what in the world? I don't even know if it's picking up properly. I feel like this is more me. It's just really bright. Socks are on. I'm wearing my APLs today. I switched to the white bra because it matches my shoes. In case I take this top off, I would rather it be white than black, but not a lotion because I don't got sound to be ashy. Hello, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to meet you guys. This is so exciting. I'm ready to do it. My wide angle lens fell off of my camera, so that's why y'all are so close. If it seems like things are different, that's why. I have my baby camera. There's sunglasses. Here's hand sanitizer. Lip stuff. Um, hotel room key. What else could I need? A tampon just in case, even though I don't wear tampons anymore. It's for emergencies only. Gym shark crossbody, the shark head one. I think I'm ready to head out. I have my whole Duffel bag here, full of my camera, my batteries, all of that stuff. This little guy, jacket in there, and my athlete sweat. I wanna go grab some breakfast before we have to leave in a few minutes. We're lifting Manchester. This is so exciting. 
Okay, I'm going down to eat breakfast. Look how pretty this is. It's like a solarium. You guys have the cutest accents ever and you guys are the sweetest and you're so generous with your time. Everybody has like insanely bright blue eyes, like you think. I just love y'all. And there's so many of you guys that are doing a live my program on there. It's wild. <laughs> look at Seth, she's so cute. She's my body Your double. Is in the wild. We are on the, look at the, it's the same camera. <laughs> we really love this thing. Would you like to see who's behind my camera? It's with Millie. Oh Millie my G! Curly hair. It looks fantastic, ladies. I'm glad it's not dropped up. Do we look like sisters? Twins, even. That's what I'm saying. Can we just sum up so far how the experience has been in one word, okay? Gonna yeah. start with Whitney. Right. Spectacular. Incredible. Yeah. What about, that's what about you, Steph? Go. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is kind of crazy out there. Yeah. Once you're out there. What have you done yours? Yeah, we just did our mean greet, but our class is at 2:45. Today. It's not a class. It's Today. a little powwow. Yeah. Okay. We have the same thing both days, though. Yeah. See, it's good that you've got each other. But it's nice to know. It's just a thing. Yeah. <laughs> powwow. We would. We just want to be like this and be intimate with them. Oh, I want to do like, that. Instead of like, hi guys, welcome to our oh, chit chat. I, I want to do that. Know? Nando. Yeah, I was told that you had to be my vlog. I am afraid of corrupted. I don't leave my house and I barely go to the gym with other people. So I feel like I'd be overstimulated and I don't power lift. So why would I go there? This man lists vehicles for fun. The dude's strong. I don't want to be in your shot. Love. You can be in my vlog. Join the vlog. How did the meet and greet go other than uh It was great. Prank bit. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. I did get pranked. What did they do? They gave me those dead ass flowers. And I said, that's so sweet, thank you. Wait, Yeah, and all the petals were in the bottom of the bag. That's the right answer. He said, I picked these for you all around Manchester. And then he said, what would you rate this? Like a one out of 10? I said, 10. The gesture was so nice. You know, Nathaniel hit a PR. Four plates. What did you hit? Uh, four plates. Yeah. On the edge? Yeah, just yeah. now. Let me show you, let me show you, show you. Millie's having Nando's. <laughs> Nando's. Nando's. I'm having Nando's. I feel like we should have that in the States. And yeah, actually, nice. we, we are getting one, I think, in Houston. Sorry, this is your first time having a Nando's? Well, I had it yesterday because that's what we had. So but this is your second time having a Nando's? Ever I in your life? I feel like, yeah. What, what would be the equivalent to Nando's in the map? We really don't have anything like this that's just like well cooked chicken, like Chick fil A. Like, I don't know. That's actually unacceptable. I know. I feel like this would be a really good option. Good protein. Can I ask a question? What's the question? Do you get English sarcasm? 
Do I? Did you I miss something? <laughs> Did I miss something? I can't remember what I said. I but think I'm I get really it. Sarcastic. People don't mm. get it. And I'm like, I'm not being mean to you. I promise. That's just like my humor. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I was wondering. What was that figure? Sorry. That's like cut out, so it's just this little hand. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. That's what I'm gonna. I'm like so cold. I want to put that off. Because that's not something that you have to worry about taking. So <laughs> did you did you just touch you the fry? You guys call them chips. What is Walka? Honey water. <laughs> Whoa. Let me go to tripod. I know. Hey, break tripods like it's my job. My middle makeup guy. Oh, I'm bad. Hold on. We're feeling alive. British slang. Right. I'm here with Libby and I'm gonna teach her some British slang. Okay? British slang. So dead tick. Dead tick. So that means like you're you're ugly, like it's just dead, like you're Ooh. like ugly, like, like you're just a dead thing, like it's just a uh, you know it's a dead thing. Do you guys call yeah. people that? Some people do, I don't. Sounds so, like, disrespectful. <laughs> no, legit. Like I, I okay. don't I feel like it's so rude, but like uh, she's a dead thing. Like, That's really mean. Like so mean, right? It's like calling somebody a slab. Yeah. You'd never Is that say what it, they face. say in America? A slab. Yeah. Day one, done. time it is all five of us we're just here on my bed having a little powwow talking and it's always the greatest time ever and i can't explain these relationships that we have because of gymshark i think that gymshark just does the best job at choosing athletes that they know will work well together just having that in-person connection just like with you guys it's just completely different and it just makes things feel so full circle so i need to go to bed i feel like i'm doing this every single night but i'm gonna hop in the shower tomorrow i'm still trying to figure out what i'm wearing i had two outfits today so we'll see about tomorrow i just feel it's so much gratitude and so much happiness and i loved day one so i'm so excited for day two i'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys it's day two i just finished getting ready i did braids Again, they gave me a little more trouble today, but it's okay. And I'm wearing the key fit onesie, which you guys know I love. So I also have my sweats on because we're supposed to wear them down. But I'm gonna head over to Annalise's room because I'm gonna go braid her hair for her. And then we have a later start today, which is nice. It was hard to get up today, I won't even lie. I did struggle just a little bit because my goodness, we did stay up late and I feel like the exhaustion kind of set in. And we're gonna get started with the day.
guys, we are back from the event. Oh my gosh, my voice is half gone. Day two is over, which means we lifted Manchester. What a cool experience it was to be able to meet people in a different country. I have to say that's the coolest thing ever, seeing how social media has changed and has become something that connects us all, which I knew it did. But until you meet people that have followed your journey and your life and have things in common with you that live across the pond from you, or across the world from you that live their own separate different lives, you don't really realize how special it is. So I have to say like this was such a cool trip and how thankful I am to be here because what a like this is an opportunity that I feel like very few people have. And I think that my job and my life and the way that it has all worked out is very rare and I'm very thankful for it. Tomorrow's Brittany's birthday, so we're gonna have a birthday dinner for her. We're going to celebrate with her tonight because unfortunately, lights back tomorrow so that's not super fun but it'll be just fine see y'all on the flip side i'm gonna get ready figure out what the heck to wear to dinner and then i'll see y'all update guys it's currently 3 58 in the morning i have not gone to sleep because we were just in my room talking as always all night i have a car that's coming at seven so i'm probably gonna get up at six shower and get ready to leave so i need to go to sleep right now i just finished packing up my bags my suitcases are ready to be closed with my toiletries in the morning morning oh my gosh i'm so tired i need to be asleep right now and i also have no voice so i love that for me.